God, sculpting is the uh, process of taking just pure inspiration into your spirit and out through your hands to be a direct conduit for a, um, a divine moment. You know, it's got its uh, sensual element to it. It's got the, the mental component of, uh, you know, with every piece before I do it, I'll make a maquette. And then there's a, you know, there's a level of mathematics and science involved, so it involves my mind and, you know, figuring out how you're going to work with the materials, you know, if it's stone, looking at fractures and fissures and um, the, you know, the grain that moves through the stone and uh, uh, what kind of material you're going to make the final piece in, how it's going to refract light and all the time looking at all of that stuff through the uh, eyes of your feelings instead of with your head. You know, I think, uh, um, I think all the truly great sculpture, you know, is made from this deep sense of connection and this place of feeling and uh, viscerality that, uh, that I've never really felt. I mean, I felt it somewhat in painting. I feel it when I write. But when you're actually sculpting, when it's coming, when there's that, and I love the physical aspect of it, you know, that the strength involved in holding a grinder or hitting a hammer on a chisel or, you know, moving metal around, this whole, the whole process of actually being engaged, you know, it really, really this sense of being a conduit, you know. The hardest part is to not move so fast that you blow something that you planned on and at the same time go slow enough and be open enough that something else can be revealed as a happy accident or as a clearly defined direction because you act because you you know because because it's revealed in the material once once that idea is out of your head and no longer just sitting on a um, piece of paper in two dimensions. It was something I got an itch to do in my 50s. You know, uh, um, as a kid, I came from a house where there was no uh, there was no real creativity, you know, I wasn't exposed to art, wasn't exposed to, you know, we didn't even have a stereo in the house, you know, so it was kind of strange when I became a filmmaker and composer and, you know, sculptor, it was all like, you know, different phases later in life and sculpting was the last thing and the thing that I had the purest connection to. It actually, you know, it wasn't something I needed to learn. Day one, my body and my spirit and my mind knew everything I needed to know about it. Thank you.